Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Pale Rain jailbreak on your device running any version from iOS 15.0 to iOS 16.2. So guys I've made this new channel so I can regularly post jailbreak videos for all of you. Previously you might be following me on my main channel but I noticed that recently I was making a lot of product reviews and because of that my jailbreak reviews were getting mixed with them. That is why I've made this new channel for all of you which will only have jailbreak and ios related videos so make sure to subscribe me on this channel and support me on this new journey so without any further delay let's go ahead and start the process of installing the pale Rain jailbreak on your iphone So first of all let's talk about which devices are supported. So Pale Rain Jailbreak just like the Checkwin is based on Checkmate exploit and it will only work on the devices below iPhone 10. And as it only supports the iOS 15 and higher devices so it won't work on the iPhone 6 series. It will only work on iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8, 8 Plus and iPhone 10. It won't work on any newer devices including iPhone 10s series, iPhone 11 series, iPhone iPhone 12 series, iPhone 13 series and iPhone 14 series. If we talk about the iOS version, Pale Rain Jailbreak is only for iOS 15 and higher devices. It won't work if you're running iOS 14 or lower iOS version. Another important thing is that if you're on A10 or A11 device, which means if you're using iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPhone 8, 8 Plus and iPhone 10, then you cannot use passcode, fingerprint or face ID on your device. And before you start the process, it is necessary to turn off passcode on your device and if you're on ios 16 on iphone 8 iphone 8 plus and iphone 10 or all the ipads on ios 16 and if you ever used passcode on your device then just removing the passcode won't work for you you will have to research your device to factory settings first then you will have to go to settings general and in reset you will have to erase all content and settings you can either do the reset from the settings or using the itunes otherwise it won't work for you on ios 16 also before starting make sure that you have tips apps installed I I've read somewhere that you might need to have it installed before installing Pale Rain and after the jailbreaking process the tips app will be replaced by the Pale Rain loader. I'm gonna be leaving the link of the tips app in the description box below. And if we talk about the operating systems which are supported, it will work on macOS or Linux system. It won't work on Windows PC or laptop. So if you're on Windows PC, I would recommend you to dual boot and install Linux. Using a virtual machine won't work. And also remember that if you're using Linux and if you're using a computer with an AMD Ryzen CPU, you will likely run into issue. So if you do run into issue, you should use a MacBook or a computer with an Intel CPU to follow this guide because it might not work on AMD Ryzen CPU. So now let's start the process. So I'm using my MacBook for this tutorial which is running macOS Monterey. So one important thing before we start, make sure that you have Python 3 installed. If you don't have it, then I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description to install Python 3. And after that, you will have to clone the repo from GitHub. So if you are running Linux, then before we start the process and clone the repo from GitHub, you will have to copy these two commands and paste it on the terminal. And once you are done with running these two commands, open a new terminal window. These two steps are not needed on macOS. So you will have to paste this command to clone the repo from github which is git clone dash dash recursive then the github link and and cd pale rain then press enter and just like me if you are also done with cloning the repo you will have to cd to the directory so write cd pale rain and make sure that the i in pale rain is one then press enter so now we are in the pale rain directory so after that you will need to paste this command to start the process so if you are running linux Next, then you will need to add sudo before the command and if you're on macOS you don't have to do it after that replace the iOS version you are on with the iOS version your device is running in my case it is iOS 15.7.1 so I'm gonna write it here and the submit method flag is really important if you want to reboot your device without having to use Pale Rain on your MacBook or Linux system every time. You should not use the submit method flag. It will be a tether jailbreak. And every time your device goes off, you will have to use terminal on your MacBook or Linux system to turn your device back on. And also remember that the semi tethered flag uses 5 to 10 GB of storage on your device. And that is why it is incompatible with the iPhones with 16 GB of storage. So if you have an iPhone with 16 GB of storage, then 
then you shouldn't use this command and it won't work for you and also remember that your device has at least 10 gb of space free and without using the semi tethered flag your jailbreak will be tethered and every time your device goes off you will have to use your macbook or linux pc to turn it back on by jailbreaking it with pale rain so before we press enter put your device in dfu mode so the process of putting a device in the dfu mode is different for different devices so if you don't know how to put your device in dfu mode i'm gonna be linking my blog post in the description box below where you can check how to put your device into dfu mode depending on the model you have so i have an iphone 7 so i'm gonna press and hold the volume down and the power key simultaneously so just wait for the screen to go completely blank. After that, I'm going to count to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to release the power button. But I'm going to keep holding the volume down key for another 5 to 7 seconds to make sure that my device is in DFU mode. So now my device has entered DFU mode. This is how the DFU mode screen looks. There will be nothing on the screen. It will look like your device is powered off. If you see a charging cable or iTunes logo or a MacBook image shown here, then your device is in recovery mode and you will have to repeat all of the steps again to put your device in the DFU mode. And you can also confirm it by opening Finder that it will detect that that your iPhone is in DFU mode and will take you to the restore screen confirming that it is in DFU mode. So now everything is done. I've mentioned my iOS version here. I have an iPhone 7 with 128 GB of storage. So that's why I can use the semi tethered flag. And also remember that your device has at least 10 GB of space free. And I'm not using any passcode on my A10 device. So everything is done, now press enter. So now it's gonna take some time. Here you can see that it has detected that my device is in DFU mode. So now let it do its job. So if you see any error, just reboot your device to DFU mode again and try again. And once the device is in DFU mode again, enter the PaleRain directory again by typing cd PaleRain and press enter. And after that, again run the command. Again, if you are using the Linux system, then add sudo in the beginning of the command and press enter. So now the device has booted into normal mode. Now the terminal will put the device into recovery mode. So just wait for it. So you can see that the terminal has entered my device into recovery mode. So now you will have to manually put your device into DFU mode because no application can do it. So I'm going to again press and hold the power key and the volume down button. Now count to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then I'm going to release the power key. So after about 5 to 6 seconds, you can release the volume down button also. So now my device is in DFU mode. So after that, here you can see that press any key when ready for DFU mode. So as now my device is in DFU mode, so I'm going to press any random key. And here you can see that now it is starting the process. So here you can see that my device is now detected in DFU mode. So now let it complete its job. So after that, the device will reboot and the device will turn on and it will be jailbroken by pale rain. So just wait for it. So now as you can see here that the process is done and now my device has turned on in iOS. So now let's go ahead and complete the installation of the jailbreak on my iPhone 7. So let's unlock the device. So after unlocking you will see the pale rain icon on your home screen. So open it. After that go to settings. So tap on the do all option. It will do all of the above options. And after that click on install. Then click on respring. Then unlock your device. Then you will see the substitute and Celio icon on your home screen. So let's open Celio. And here it is. Now you can use Celio on your iPhone running iOS 15.0 to iOS 16.2. So guys, this might be quite a complicated process for you. But with this video, I tried to make it easier for you to understand. And I really hope that it helps you out. So guys, not all of the tweaks are supported. So in the description box below, I'm going to be sharing this link where we have the tweak compatibility. Here, all of the tweaks which are compatible and which aren't are mentioned. So make sure you check it out before installing any tweak. So guys, this is a semi tethered jailbreak, which means when you power off your device or your device shuts down or it restarts, you will boot into stock iOS and the jailbreak apps won't work. And then you will have to use PaleLane on your MacBook or your Linux system again to jailbreak the device and boot into the jailbroken mode. And also in settings on A10 and A11, if you will try to add passcode, it will restart your device and boot into non jailbroken mode. So I would recommend you to not try it.
and in my upcoming video i'm going to show you how to remove the pale rain jailbreak so make sure you watch that video i'm gonna be leaving the link of it in the description box below and also support this new channel and hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming videos also hit the thumbs up button and comment down below with which device are you using and which ios version are you running so this is all from today's video i will catch you in the next one until next time this is i'm at peace